Hey y'all, it's Stacy. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're making my sweet corn salad with bacon. And like any great recipe that has bacon in the title, that's where we're gonna start. I've cooked about six slices of bacon, but I've reserved that bacon grease because we're gonna use it to make our dressing. To do that, I've got about half a cup of mayonnaise here, and I've got about a tablespoon of that bacon grease while it's still warm. We're just gonna add that to our mayonnaise here, and I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice to this. And just whisk this together. And that's all we're gonna do for our dressing. Super simple, we're gonna let all the fresh vegetables here be the star. So we're starting with a very simple dressing. Now, in my bowl, I've got about six ears of sweet corn that I've cooked, shucked, and cut off the cob. If you head over to the website, southernbite.com, find this recipe, I give you some tips about how to cook this and easy ways to get it clean. That's what I've done here. To this, I'm going to add about one cup of sliced grape tomatoes. I've got about a half of a red onion that I finely diced. Those six slices of bacon that we cooked, allowed to cool and crumbled. And then we're gonna add our dressing. Now, if you can't get your hands on fresh corn, now I will say the fresh corn is at the absolute best in this case, but if you can't get your hands on fresh corn, two 10 ounce bags of frozen corn will work in a pinch. You know, if it's the dead of winter and you just have a craving for corn salad, that's an easy way to be able to make this um, and still get the flavor, but it's just not quite the same without that. And there are tons of varieties of corn out there. As long as you're picking one that has nice sweet flavor, that's what you're gonna need for this. To this, I'm gonna add a little salt, some freshly cracked black pepper, and we're gonna throw a little green in here and add a little more flavor. This is about two tablespoons of basil that I've thinly sliced. And that's all there is to it. Stir this together, let it chill in the fridge for just a little while to allow the flavors to develop. And one tip that I can tell you too, anytime that you have a salad like this, that the recipe requires you to put it in the fridge for a little while, before you serve it, after you take it out of the fridge, taste it. A lot of times as those flavors develop, they change a little, you may need to add a little more salt or a little more pepper just to make sure that you've got those levels right where they suit your taste. Folks, you can find this recipe by heading over to the website at southernbite.com. Just visit the Simply Southern TV section right at the top or in the menu bar, and you can find that recipe right there. Y'all enjoy. Now, whether you make this recipe or not, I wanna encourage everyone to go to that website. If you like to eat corn, stacy has got a super easy way to get the corn shucked and get all those pesky silks out from between the kernels. Well, fresh corn is definitely best, but dealing with the husk and the silk is a bit much, so I'm glad Stacy has an easy way to get rid of them. You know, my favorite part of southernbite.com is the comments, and some of the people who've tried this recipe made some interesting variations. It's worth your time to take a look at those. You might find something you like even better than the way that Stacy prepared it. Very good. Our thanks to the folks over at Sweet Grown Alabama for sponsoring today's recipe. And our thanks to each of you for watching Simply Southern today. I hope you'll be back with us again next week to meet a woman who found happiness by leaving the corporate world behind and going back to nature and life on the farm. And we'll answer the question, what do farmers who live near urban areas do when industry is buying up farmland for development? The answer might surprise you. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. We'll see you then. Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative and these sponsors.